Welcome to the Ramblecast. Uh, Nick had a wonderful song planned for us today. It started off with like, uh, no one knows what it's like to be a Ramblecast. But he just couldn't quite get the, you know, on the tuning. And so that's that's a little little teaser as to what's what's to come. Nice, nice. I actually did sing that one uh, on a Game of Thrones podcast uh, when uh, one of the uh, the White Walkers came about. Because I was like, no one knows what it's like to be a White Walker. Because you know, he has blue eyes, you know. <laughs> Behind blue eyes. Blue eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and big chains. And yeah, the the, the, Nim- the Nimitz size chains. Yeah, that was probably you gotta, you gotta you gotta have those. Yeah, that was probably the maddest I got with Game of Thrones was uh, the chains. Yeah, more than the ending because most people hated the ending. But the I mean, I, hate, I hated basically the second half of the last season. You know? No, it's, it's the chains will always just will be the worst part of Game of Thrones for me. Yeah, I mean, I, I I think that if he ever finishes the book series, that they'll they'll remake the whole series again because it was just. You could tell. I mean, even though it was excellently produced, it just uh, once they ran out of actual George R. R. Martin material, they just were winging it, and it just wasn't as good. Or they just didn't care. Or they didn't care. They made their money, and it's like you know. So, um, well, I, well, I, well, I just want to say ahead of time, it wasn't my fault. We were twenty minutes late. No. It was mine, and I, I I did put it in the the. But I didn't have to. So wow. didn't let you throw me under the bus later. On. Seventeen, seventeen I, minutes. Yeah. So I was pre- I was prepped and ready to go. I had I had the whole uh, shebang set up. Well, came shebang. downstairs, turned on the computer, could not hear you guys, couldn't get my my earbuds to work. Nothing. So I had to just when all else fails, you just restart the whole shebang. So. Well, Nick said the show would be better without you. You probably didn't hear that. I, I almost decided because I, I could see you guys talking. I almost thought I should just hit live record and see if you guys well, that that would, that would have been bad. It would not have been oh. great. <laughs> 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 I can not see that for any reason, but for a reason that it would be bad. Yeah, yeah. It, it was not funny because I could see Chris talking, and I could see you know both Nick and Jack. You're like, whoa, yeah. Mm. I saw Nick, you know, like doing this, which I was just like, oh, my gosh, like what is happening to Nick? That's the problem with video. That's why I'm glad my mom doesn't FaceTime me because she go, she'd be going, uh-huh. Yeah, I've heard about the cats 5,000 times. It's okay, mom. Go ahead. Yeah, my mom was talking to me today, and she was like, I really want to say something to your sister about this. But I don't want to talk to her because you know how she is. So I think I'm just going to send it in a text. I was like, that's even worse. Like, yeah. you know, I was like, you know how text can be taken one way or the other? She's totally going to read into that as like, my mom's a bitch right now. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you <know? laughs> my mom's gutless, though. So she doesn't, want, she doesn't like confrontation. Except with a mask on. Except with a mask. That's what I mean. She hides it, you know? Yeah. Okay. Got it. You guys Anyways, <laughs> what, 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 have you, what have you guys been up to this past week? work they've been kicking it old school watching das boot you know yeah how'd you like it Matt? oh i loved it no somebody here oh did i is this a big reveal where are we supposed to you just fucked it up yeah we were gonna bleed into it and everything yeah like uh, (laughs) hey hey leno hey leno maybe maybe if you showed up at a time you'd have been here for the pre-show commentary (laughs) this one's in no condition to fuck (laughs) <laughs> remove myself oh, come on man so player two oh, and behold for those people listening you may not believe it however I did find a way to carve out like three fucking hours out of a day last week where I got to dust off dust boots and yes, I watched it. I watched all of it. Um, you know what a perfect song would have been was "These Boots Are Made for Walking." For walking, <laughs> like, like that's what like a Das Boots are made for walking. Anyway, you know, and, uh, there's a joke there somewhere that I think we could have really landed this whole thing a lot better. Yeah, maybe if you didn't well, screw yeah. it at the top, we'd been all right. It was all <laughs> planned, but. <laughs> Anywho, uh, 
Um, so I did carve out three hours of the, of the day last week, and I was I was at home with my son, and he was napping. So I was able to like bang out a good half of it while he was napping. Mm-hmm. And that, that night, I finished it. Um, I'll tell you though, I watched it in German because mm-hmm. um, I thought that would be the best way to to, to do it. Um, and I, I did with the, with the uh, with the with the subtitles and such. And you guys. You guys have you were right, you were right. This when movie, have we been wrong? Uh, many, uh, dude. Okay, I, I, <laughs> this has to be a shorter podcast. I can't go through that list. Um, <laughs> but I'll tell you though, I I have missed out on this movie, and it's interesting because I've I've after watching, I recognize there's actually like parts of the movie that I have seen, so I must have like seen clips of it at some point. But hmm. in watching this movie in its entirety, what a fucking movie, dude! Yeah. Das Boot is incredible. Incredible. Um, Man, when I opened, I was, up, when I opened it, up my chat, and you were you were giving us play by play. I was like live texting it, right? And I then said, I, I got to watch it again. Yeah. So like the best part, and again, like I, mean, I guess, can I spoil it? I mean, right? I, guess, I mean, it's, it's, it's sure. It's, it's yeah. almost forty years old. I mean, I think <laughs> I think at this point we will just say spoilers for Das Boot since Chris has, has watched it. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah. So, anyways, fast forward ahead for a few minutes if you don't want to hear it. It's funny because. You know, I texted, I was texting, live texting, and there's like a break in my live texting. Yeah. And then I, I just start like, ha, 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 holy shit, like in the text. And, and Nick's like, oh, you got to the end, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dude, it's so crazy, right? Because like, I think we talk about this. Like, you, 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 you're rooting for this ragtag group yeah. who have just gone through fucking hell and gotten back from hell to like for the literally from the bottom of the ocean to get back up and and live and survive and then you get this really rude awakening and a reminder is like nope they're still fucking nazis (laughs) 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 and then when the british come in and just fucking bomb the shit out of the ceremony that they're they're part of as they're returning and you're like, oh yeah, okay, okay. So yeah, fuck those guys. Like, <laughs> yeah, fucking nuts. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. But man, I'll tell you, like, talk about like just an incredibly acted and directed movie. Like, to and I watched a little bit of like the behind the scenes footage that's on the disc, and I it was really fucking like boring to watch because it was definitely designed to be like a navigate the DVD by highlighting the you know fucking torpedo blah 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 and hit enter so you can travel over there i was like okay just fucking show me this shit please <laughs> um but it was crazy to, to think that they filmed that entire fucking thing on a set that was the exact same size as a submarine mm-hmm. like there's no bullshit about that that was just all real how they did it um and i was i was blown away i was absolutely blown away by that movie and Man, um, i don't know watch it. I don't know. I can watch it again because it's a significant investment of time. But uh, yeah. um, I, I am grateful for all the ball busting that you four, <laughs> three, and the listeners have been doing for the last how know what two years now, <laughs> almost two years. Has it um, been that long? Almost. I think it was like uh, roughly like November of yeah, 2018. two years. November. Yeah. yeah. I just bought this house when when uh, when I bought the DVD. Uh, and, and then it's been I, two years since I you just bought the house. house? It'll be two years in, on uh, on Thanksgiving, so we moved in on wow. Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'll tell you, man, a fantastic movie. So <laughs> thank you for busting my balls all this time, and and I'm 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 happy to report that I finally watched Das Boot. Nice. And now I'm looking forward to checking out the series uh, on Hulu. This, I mean, I, it, yeah, I know season two has been released of the series for everyone out there. It's a Hulu series. Uh, it's filmed in England. Uh, Season two has been released in England, but not in the states for some reason. It's been out. What's for like, up with that? I don't know. It's been out for like a month now in in England, but not in the states. It's fucking America. It should be first here, America. <laughs> but yeah, the the, the Das Boot uh, series on Hulu is actually it's very good as well. Uh, but would you, would you would you consider Chris this to be the greatest submarine movie of all time? Like, there's definitely some debate there. Like, with is it Hunt for October? Is it Das Boot? You know, you have you know. So to put it in reference, like I haven't watched Hunt for Hunt for October in Crimson Tide in probably oh. twenty years, right? So it's been a long or however it's been a long, long time. So and quite honestly, I get those two movies mixed up all the time. 
One's with Denzel um, Washington, one's with uh, yeah. John Connery. Well, but they're not even it, close. It, but the thing is, I, but I just I, it's a it's a fucking submarine movie, right? So I got that. You said to remember Sean Connery is a Russian Scottish guy. Right? Look, we're not going to start a whole fucking <laughs> campaign to get my ass to watch these movies in, in succession again. But um, I will say though that this of what I remember watching of those movies. And I'll even throw down Periscope in there with Kelsey Grammer. That's what um, I, too. Yeah. It, I, I can say I've never watched a movie that felt more um, real, right? Like you, you really felt like you're there, um, and like the stress that you feel in watching this movie because of of the the close quarters of the of a submarine and the inner workings, like the whole idea of them literally fucking like fixing this motherfucker at the bottom of the depths of the ocean to not die because they're at 250 plus pounds whatever blah blah, blah. um it was like you're uh, you're on the edge of your seat like it, it, you feel like you feel like you're in the submarine when, when you're watching it and um it was it was uh, it was awesome it was, it was fantastic yeah so, exactly i mean because you, you see a lot of details that i don't think would be in, like there's they're literally sharing one crapper you know like you know and uh yeah. And then they all get crabs because of one kid, you know, and then there's so many like little things that would probably be cut out of most movies today because it's like, Oh, you don't really need that scene. Let's cut that out. You know? And then, and then like when you see the, uh, the mechanic, you know, actually lose his shit because lose they're his lose his shit. shit. I mean, that would happen to anybody. You know, if you're being death charged and then being sitting on the bottom of the ocean and then like, you're just like at any moment, you, you just constantly like I could die at any second. And then, you know, it's just going to naturally happen. You know, and yeah, and you 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 build that these you know whenever you watch a movie like this or you're getting that involved, and you really kind of build like a connection, not connection, but like a almost a kinship to some of the characters, right? So you actually start to really like some of these people, mm-hmm. which is the rude awakening at the end. Right. Um, <laughs> it, the uh, the the number one, his number one, like the guy who the they try to get the chief. Yeah, like that dude was just a fucking savage. <laughs> like he's like this older guy. And he's if it wasn't for him, they, yeah. they would have all you know died in the depths of the, of the ocean, yeah. not two hours later. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but uh, it was just uh, yeah, it was incredible. I, I can't say enough about Did it. Did you and like I'm, it? I'm glad that I got to watch it. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Don't hold back. Yeah. Well, it's been two years. He should give a proper review. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, there, I'm, there I'm, just so, I'm just making you can, you can do a little check mark on uh, next to the box next to my name for finally seeing Das Boot. 300 more movies to go, and you're going to be there. <laughs> yeah. You're that close. What is next? What's, what, what's the next movie I should watch? I know that we've talked about different ones. Uh, well, I thought, well, I thought we you, said you, good, the bad, watch good, the bad, the ugly, right? Yeah. Okay. I, I, think, that I think that's a you, must. That's a it's much. a long one, though. It's, a, it's another I mean, long it, one. It, so I. And it won the Clint Eastwood, you know. Versus, and don't forget, so, I, I watched you know I watched the theatrical like, cut of Das Boot, so that thing was fucking long. No, you watched, I mean, the, director, you watched the director's, director's cut, director's cut rather. not the theatrical. I watched the director's cut. That movie was the at least two and a half hours, right? Yeah, that's like, that's like nothing. That's like watching fucking an episode of Files next to Das. Back back in the sixties, but it's like, that was a long. It's time. probably it's probably on par with the director's cut of Dune. Which is which is like four and like, and a half hours long. The problem with the director's kind of doing the the movie is real. It's only really four minutes. It just seems like four and a half hours. <laughs> I I am so excited about the new Dune uh, movie. But my only the trepidation is that I kind of wonder like, would this have been better as like a ten episode? You know, oh, HBO, how, like, how many is it going to be? Well, they just I I've heard that they're splitting the the first book into two parts. Yeah. It Which, should have been a ten part series. That would have been much better. Yeah, I, I mean, just I don't know the way TV's going and like shows like The Mandalorian and you know. So it's not a movie. It's a, t- it's a TV show. No, no, it's it is going to be a movie. But from what I heard, they're they're talking about or there's plans to split the first book into two parts. And who knows? Maybe they'll 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 bring in some of the children of Dune into the second part, which would be cool. That's what I've always wanted. I've always wanted. You know, like, let's get to some of the other books. Um, the Sci-Fi Channel had done a version of Children of Dune, which I love. I, I thought it was was great, you know, just because you just don't get those that story. And um, Anyway, but that's that's my Dune hour. So come back next week. <laughs> it it, it seemed like an hour. It. Well, I don't know who said it, but, you know, I read it like a couple weeks ago that somebody associated with the project, though, was said a ballsy claim, you know. And it's said, it's uh, the actor's. 
maybe but well, they said that you know this they predicting that dune's going to be the lord of the rings of this generation you know because it's been 20 years since lord of the rings so they're like well this will be the same thing like people are gonna be like oh yeah dune you know because dune never got its proper due aside from like the deep deep fans in the 80s so it's like you know this is gonna be a new a lot of it was a lot of people <laughs> So it's Tron, but I mean, but it's still like people like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh whoa, whoa, Jack, whoa. I don't know if you noticed. There's this this guy right over here, and he's just wanted to say fuck you. So, <laughs> there you go. I don't mind if an right. astronaut tells right. me to fuck off. I, thought, I don't. Was, care. I thought it was Gus Grisham over there. Yeah. Like, you know. Well, uh, no, because if the the, 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 cap, the capsule's not on fire. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Too soon? What? What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> who who changed your flu? That's what I mean. That's the Gus I'm thinking of, not the Apollo One. You know, Gus. Yeah, yeah. I hey, I like Gus Grissom, and I I'm sorry I said that. That was uh, I did want to say before I forget that you mentioned Nancy Sinatra's boots were made for walking. Mm-hmm. Now this was a song, one of the many songs I used to use when my granddaughter was. She's now two, but she was the first four months. She was like the worst kid in the world because she would just had was colic and just cry all the time, and I'd be crying. Oh, but I'm some sorry. some videos would make her. Stop! And oh, one yeah, was Na- yeah. yeah, one was Nancy Sinatra's. These boots are made for walking. Now, I've seen this this video a billion times. Now, the lovely and talent, talented Nancy Sinatra, who has no rhythm, by the way. If you watch the video, she can't. She's yeah, she can't sing I, it well either. She has a very yeah, well. Range. Well, she's Frank Sinatra's daughter, so I'm not saying anything. Well, he's dead now, but uh, anyway. So I was watching the uh, watching the video the other day. She's a little fussy, so I watched put the Bengals on and put Nancy Sinatra. And I didn't realize when she's she's talking about when she says I got a brand new box of matches, she's talking about another guy. I just oh. realized that after five billion watches of this video, huh. I go, oh, she's talking about another guy because that that's, that that line never made sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've never been huh. burnt. Bum, 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 bum. And I went, oh. Yeah. oh, okay, all right. All right, Nancy, cool. that makes sense now because it would always bug me. But go ahead. I just had I just had to clear the air because it was been bothering me for a while. That's when you take. That's what happens. when You take that much as LSD as you do, Jack. So. Exactly. You know, so use it. Well, it makes the song sound. But I actually I like this. Song. It's a good Vietnam song. It's in uh, platoon, uh, oh. not platoon. Uh, oh, no, full no, metal no, jacket. jacket. Yeah. The one. The one that gets like overplayed. Oh, a lot point. of money. <laughs> I. Uh, this is this is just like a, a side side versus. It's not even like a poll or anything. But like really though, songs that you hear that like make you think of Vietnam or, or they've been kind of like an. Um, for me, the, the Jimi Hendrix. Uh, you know, I think the either all along the Watchtower or Voodoo Child Slight Return. Like they play both of those like like a lot. Well, they always play. Yeah, they always play both of Springfield's for what it's worth in yep. Vietnam movies. Uh, there's right, a Rolling right. Stones song they always play. Which um, which Stones song? The in, uh, in black. My, yeah. No, yes. that's the RNC. It, the it, RNC. Yeah, I think, it, yeah, I think it's Street, street Fighting Man. Um, <laughs> I bet you can see. You can just take the Forrest Gump soundtrack. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah like, pull it on top. I think Gimme Shelter. That's the one. That's the one you're thinking. I bet. I bet the Stones. I don't. Know, I, I have to hear it because. Uh, but I like that song that they it's in Good Morning yeah. Vietnam, it's probably in Platoon, uh, which is a cheerful <laughs> still like when it was it was it uh, what was that movie with Leslie Nielsen and uh, Lisa, uh not Java Jack Nielsen. Flash? No, it's the the naked gun movies where he was with, uh, uh press uh what's press what's her first name? Presley. Um, um she was married Marie. to Elvis. Marie. Priscilla. Priscilla, Priscilla yeah. Press, thank you. Priscilla Press, when they're walking out of the theater and they're laughing in the movie's platoon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's right. Because uh, nobody no, nobody comes out of platoon laughing. It's just like... Oh, we're, we're, we're getting some feedback here in the chat. I missed this. Uh, Fortunate yeah. Son. Yes, that's definitely. Uh, and then Hey Joe. Um, I, so I'm trying to think of... of it wasn't of Hey Jude? So. No, Hey Joe by no. Jimi Hendrix. You know. I'm just, I'm just, oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Hey, dude. Yeah. Hey, dude. The Five Bloods. What is? What are we talking about? Uh, Randy. Randy says the Five Bloods. I don't. I'm not sure. We've what gotten into. We've gotten into the uh, Warriors. When are they going to remake the Warriors? Yeah, have anyone seen? I don't, well, Chris, I'm not going to. Chris, I've seen the uh, fucking Warriors. Have you seen the Warriors? Yes. I don't now, know if they could remake remake that movie right now. 
All yeah. these, have you seen the uproar though? Like, um, o- only if it was post-apocalyptic. Like, there's there's a huge uproar right now though that um, I'm not sure if it's confirmed yet or not, but they're going to remake uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I Fuck saw that. that. Yeah, with uh, Will Smith and, uh, and Kevin, Hart. Kevin Hart. Yeah, and there's already oh. like petitions saying like, "Don't fucking do it," because you can't remake that movie. It's perfect. Yeah, just I'm so, fucking just mad. Don't... Dude, like, did you not know that? Know it. I didn't know that. Like, and you think that Will Smith and Kevin Hart would know that? Like, <laughs> why would you sign on for that? Because That's Kevin fair. Hart does everything. Yeah, he's a, new, but, he's a new Samuel L. Jackson or Kevin Bacon. He's you can literally do the six degrees of Kevin Hart now. I think because because remember back in the day, uh, uh, Samuel L. Jackson was in every fucking movie, and, and now it's it, now it's Kevin Hart. And I like Kevin Hart, but Will Smith, I don't know, he's 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 lost a few steps. I don't know. Yeah, I mean he hasn't made a good movie in probably 15 years. Uh, uh I mean I liked uh, I Am Legend even though it kind of gets bad reviews because of the I ending. like I Am Legend. They, mess, they legend. messed up the ending, you know, but um I really liked I Am Legend. I I, I, I liked it. Yeah, it's I guess probably his last good one was I Am Legend. I like the Omega Man better with uh, Charlton Heston. I'm, I'm trying. I'm I'm over here trying to remember this movie that I watched on on Hulu. Um, it's called The Hustle, and I'm watching it, and it's got uh, Anne Hathaway, and I'm trying to remember her co star. Anne yeah, Anne Hathaway is in it, and Rebel Wilson. They're the two main. Um, oh, I love Rebel uh, Wilson. She's fucking yeah. awesome. So I I recommend watching this, even though and I, and I and I feel like it almost. I I yeah, it's a comedy. I feel like it almost ruins it to tell you what it's a remake of, but it is a remake. So I'm not going to spoil it. I was tell me you need to tell me. Or I'm going to go look it up, and I'll spoil it's it. It's a okay. Well, it is a remake of a Steve Martin movie. So wow, you didn't take long to cave in. Michael Caine and Steve Martin. Oh, <laughs> very rotten scandals. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I feel bad even telling you because because I watched it not yeah, knowing you, that, and you, I and you I you wouldn't actually torture, would you? <laughs> I, I enjoyed it better, but at some point, like it kind of revealed itself to me. Like I'm watching it, I'm like, wait, this is dirty rotten scoundrels, and I enjoyed it still though. I mean, like I didn't, I felt like it wasn't. It was definitely a nod to it. Um, but I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I watched yeah. Dirty Rot Scandals over and over and over as a kid. As a kid, I loved that movie. Oh yeah! And it wasn't until I got somewhere in the mid '90s that I realized that the Butler was Emperor Palpatine. You know, in that movie, it's, you don't really notice it until Ian McDermott. One, Ian McDermott. Yeah, you don't notice it until one scene when it's when uh, uh, I remember Steve Martin finally <laughs> full, you know does the whole "I'm crippled" thing for the first time. He's in the back. I'm not, I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at the chat. But he's in the back of the car, and then you know, uh, Ian McDer- uh, he walks up, and he's like, "Welcome to hell." Yeah, you know, and like just the way he says it is just straight up emperor, and you're like, "Oh my god, that's him!" But just I don't know. The only Steve Martin movie I, I absolutely hated and wish he would never have made was the Pink Panther. Pink Panther, yeah, and they made a second one. I, like, know, it's like, yeah, I know, I know. It's like Steve, Steve, Steve Martin. How can you be so <laughs> fucking stupid? Um, because he's fan, he's he's my all time favorite comic. I mean, he's just you know, as a kid, I just loved Steve Martin, and I went Pink Panther. No, that's just you can't do that. No, they tried. Yeah. You, you can't. No one's Peter Sellers. Stop! Stop! No. Steve, stop! Don't do it. Collaborate and listen. Yeah, but he did it anyway. After I after I insisted he not do it, but, he did email you. So he did, but it was too late because he sent it to the wrong email, and it, you know got lost. In, uh, you, know. you don't. You know, it's not too late for though. What's that? An advertisement from our sponsors. That, that's my Boom, look at that. That's why we have Chris. Last week it was Nick, but what's it? That's it. I'm usually the one that like mentions. I mean, Chris just slid it in no, there. No, it's, it's like, been Nick. Dude, it's been Nick. Yeah. It's been Nick or Chris like the last right six in. months. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> this this floating head is floating on home. Wait, I'm already home. Um. Are anyway, you- uh, a show that I was watched that I was watching. I wanted to talk, talk about. about um, please, can I? Can yeah, I go talk? ahead. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Thanks. Um, it was a show that my wife introduced me to. She was like, "Oh, I think I think you're gonna like this show." And so, like most shows that my wife tries to introduce me to, I'm like, "Okay, whatever." 
<laughs> but it grew on me and I, and I really enjoy it. Um, no, I, I, I love my, sometimes our tastes don't always connect. You, know? you don't have, I, I'm you know? married. Got it. Yeah. So, you know, and, w- but when they do, it's awesome. Uh, the show and sadly from what I've read and, and seen, like there was never a second season, but, and I'm not all the way through the first, the old, first and only season, but the kids are, are, are all right. Um, it was a, an ABC show and oh. I believe that it was their attempt to try to do a seventies version of Goldberg's, which um, if to, to call it a seventies ber- version of Goldberg's, you can kind of see where they, they took some cues but I feel like they also retooled it and made it better in some ways. So, and maybe more, I'm still, definitely more edgier. It's a little bit more edgier, edgier. Did you watch it? Well, it's funny you say that because my wife was watching it and said, you have to watch this show. And I'm like going, Oh my um, God. Are we married? Well, I, I, I said, you know, Matt says that women don't really know how to pick movies and TV shows. So I don't know if I want to say that. So, uh, but no, so I said, but I, I watched a few episodes I saw this is really good. I went meant to go back and rewatch the episodes. I saw it was on Hulu. It's on Hulu, right? Yeah. It's only it's only one season. It got canceled, yep. and I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'll be honest. With you, I don't know how it got canceled. How did this show get canceled? But there was a second fucking Pink Panther movie with Steve Martin, and I, was, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't get it. I, I don't. Because so. the episodes I saw were pretty damn funny. Because because it, it's a Catholic family. that was like uh, how many like there's eight, eight, eight boys. There's eight yeah. boys, and that's where my my wife connects with it. And a great ca- a great cast. Yeah, she had eight brothers growing up, so to her, it's like, yeah, this is the '70s. This is growing up, um, boys fighting, you know, like crashing through windows and always. But I love the dynamics of all the sons because they're each their own personality, and you right. see it kind of grow. Whereas Goldberg's is so formulaic; it's just like, okay, I know this. You're going to play a classic song and then you guys are going to be all right. All right. Whatever. Yeah. The Goldbergs really, because I stopped watching the Goldbergs and I loved yeah. it for, but the it, last it, season, the last season I was watching, I go, I turned to my own, I go, okay, get to the part where you guys all hug. Yeah. It's, it's just, the same fucking ending every time. And I, I felt bad because it was a great show at one point, but it just got, yeah, started. I feel like, I feel like shows should have an end and, and, and stop. Well, yeah, but it's, it's like the same ending. It's, yeah, but it just it, it's it's too many, uh, one too many seasons for Goldberg's. But uh, the kids are all right, though. I feel it takes it to the next level. I don't know if you've seen the episode where there's two two boys are trying to clean a uh, dish or a tablecloth that that's their mom's that he cleared. No, I've only I've only seen like three or four episodes, but okay, I will I will go back and it's you're right. It's it's it should be. I should have gotten it. I don't know why it wasn't saved and put on Netflix or Hulu. I mean, oh, it, 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 was, it was not only funny, but it was interesting too. It yeah. was a good, it yeah. was a good show. It's, and I, it's a lot more complex than Goldberg. So again, yeah. a recommendation that I'm giving to something and I'm, I'm referring it to something else and, and, you know, give it a try. You know, I, maybe it's a show that should have started on Netflix or Hulu. Yeah. Because, because I it's, see, I because I think people are, I think people are like, Oh, this is the Goldbergs. That's what, yeah. that's what people compare to. And it, right. it's not, it's not, it's, the, not. it's a family, but it's not the Goldbergs. It's a lot more dynamic and they deal with things of the seventies too, like issues like yeah. women's rights as, I mean, that comes up again and again, as well as like the Catholic faith and, and some of the, the different uh, uh, just influences of the seventies. Nixon, you know, plays a part in the background for their, their, you know, childhood. So it's Nixon gets royalties good. on it. So so. There, there you go. I do like Randy in the chat. Steve Martin probably sent an email to our CAD address and no one ever read it. <laughs> That's true. That is definitely true. I th- so can I, I say this? I think someone has hijacked Randy's account. Because <laughs> the last two or three weeks, dude has been on fire. Am I right? Because and, and I want to thank people for ahead of time. Uh, before I forget, the people who uh, helped us out in the verses last week on the Facebook and Thank you. Great job, guys. That was a lot of fun last uh, the verses last week. <laughs> that's all, that's all week. Yeah, like just all the Yeah, it was it, Can someone give me a, a, a Cliff Notes version recap? Well, all right. A lot of pe- a lot of people played <laughs> along and some people were not happy with it. So yeah. let's just say let's someone just say yeah, someone, someone didn't want to play along. Really? But uh yeah, definitely lots of people that oh. were you know, every movie that got 
nominated was like, oh my god, like you remember Robin Williams and that? It was so good. Like, you know, <laughs> he took his shirt off. It was like, oh. I've been part. I've been part of a lot of verses, but that was the best verses I've ever. Had. Oh, it's fantastic. You you enjoyed the verses this this week then? So just because of the the whole trick or that's fantastic. Yeah, because it was it was people using their imagination. It was funny. Um, I just enjoyed it. it. Was I couldn't wait to see the next thing coming up. It was it was funny. Outstanding. Uh, Gretchen didn't win, which was I yeah. Was, Gretchen and uh, I, I really you, wanted Gretchen. But did you like? Did you like my uh, Gretchen? Uh, <laughs> so who won? Uh, I think Gretchen I think, came. I think you did, Chris. I think you won. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah, Chris. back yeah, to uh, back. But Wayne, and Wayne's World uh, got second by like yeah, what, back to something. back. And what so a yes. shock that, that Jay voted for Wayne's World. Exactly, that was my. Oh. <laughs> he, was the, he was one of the very first people that voted, and I was like, of course, Jay picks the Jay pick of Wayne's yeah. World. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just want to, you know, Gretchen was Gretchen was second, I think, for a long time. No, I think it ended oh, up being oh, yeah. right, okay. Gretchen. Gretchen held in there, so uh, you hey, know, I think I, it was like watching a horse race for us, you know. <laughs> Matt, does your wife shop? There's an online store for clothing called Gretchen. Does oh. your wife shop there? I don't think so, but I'll because have my to wife go. was watching something on TV or commer- her iPad, and the commercial was for Gretchen. I'm like going, but see, I'm the one that said said Gretchen in my sleep. I know, but maybe you, maybe you heard the Gretchen and it got in your head, and then you know uh, you, you no. Okay, I don't, I'm trying to help you. And I, I, I am trying to save one, your marriage here. I, I only know one Gretchen, and I have not seen her for probably over 12 years. Maybe. Oh, wait, so this is oh, wait, the last hey, time you're on the farm. Makes sense. <laughs> not time on the farm. Hey, can you just mention that uh, we're, we're getting derailed here talking about Gretchen? Uh, I just High wanted five. to. High five. Um. <laughs> Way to go, guys! Way, way to go. Um, I'm not gonna say who who wrote this, but I really this this cracked me up uh, as a comment. Hmm, such a hard choice. You can't go wrong with most of Robin Williams' movies, implying that some of these were Robin Williams' movies. Just saying, um, and uh, you know, uh, well, I'm, don't, I'm don't, just, don't throw Jessica under the bus. I'm just happy that people commented. Am I right? Was it Jessica and voted? So. No, it's not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to mention anything. I, I think. I think it was the Canadian. Um, no, it was not. So, but Colleen, hey, Chris, 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 guess whose horse came in last, though, or sheep came in last? Movie you've never seen? No, it was uh, Youngblood. Yeah, movie you've yeah. never seen. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But I didn't care. Chris Doran says Youngblood was cheated. Robin Williams is awesome as the coach of the Thunder Bay Bombers. <laughs> nice. Madonna, Madonna. I see. I, I think this is so much more fun when we just fuck with people. <laughs> well, you, know, like, what, what, you know what? This week I was thinking that we post a verses and we just say this week's verses and we have it all open and we don't put it. <laughs> just let it be. And, and people can make their own. They, they can oh, make yeah. their own decision on what it is. Yes. I'll, I'll post that tomorrow. This week's post, versus post, fuck it, post it now, Jack. Like, just, let's get the votes in. All let's right. get the let's, let's get, get, get the mail in vote for Christ's sake. I will do that right now. <laughs> now that I can see it, but you'll you'll be there in spirit, right, dude? I am two weeks in without Facebook, and holy Oops. shit, it's awesome. I went, I, went, I went in the patrons group. Sorry. I am I am very I am very tempted. Uh, oh, dude, uh, it's the best. You're you yeah. you will you will not regret it. Like the only yeah. thing I'm regretting is our Facebook group, uh, right. I, which I which I do regret because that's just you know I, I like can't, to be connected, I can't but I have to be able to post. I'm I am a poster unless unless I oh you know don't you don't need to be a poster. What you if what if I've got an idea? What I have another account. I could just be that account and not have follow anybody, any friends at all, and I could just, you know, maybe. What do you, what do you need well, that, to that, post? That, but that, that's kind of self-defeating, though, because the reason why people want to get off Facebook is because you're reading so much negative shit all the time that it just true. It just robs your soul of any kind of happiness. Yeah. Uh, what, do you, what do you need to post on Facebook? 
I'm curious. I don't know. I posted something the other day, and uh, and it, it's gotten quite a lot of a lot of people talking, and not in a good way. And, See, you're uh, adding to the fucking problem. I know, I know, but I was very moved by the fact that someone was shot in the back seven times. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I mean, that's crushing. What? That's crushing the whole thing, and and to the fact that we were here, like we were here having this conversation as a nation a month ago, and and yet here we are back to this point where we can't. It's not going to. We make have it nice things, people. Why can't we have nice things? What well, what what bothered me most about this, about this whole thing is 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 that the the kids were in the car. I know. Yeah. So yeah. anyway. I, I so don't get, you you, you but, can but, read about this stuff. You can be in the in the news about everything. You can take part in protests if you if you feel compelled to do so. But I'm telling you, Facebook is a waste of your fucking time. I, and you know what? All I, I have I, is time. Why don't? Because I'm old. You know, there, there, there's there's a phenomenal book that I recommend. I don't hey, know if I've talked about this before on the on the on the on this on the show, but incredible book. And I say that I read. I, what I mean by that is I listened to it. Um, <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm it's, it's it. It's what I. It's what I do in the car and my rides to work and everything. Um, there's an incredible book. It's called "The Subtle Art of oh, Not Giving a Fuck," and it is fucking amazing. It's a big reason for my my push to delete Facebook from my life. Um, that person has written, it, I think, three books. They're like he that. has. I, I, I'm looking forward to catching some of his other stuff too. But like one of the big themes of the book, "The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck," is that. In your life, you have a finite amount of fucks to give. <laughs> Spend them wisely. Delete Facebook. <laughs> my, I, have I, added, I had that last Facebook. part. I have stock in Facebook, but it's okay. Just keep bashing it. I don't give a fuck about your stock. See, there's another there, thing I don't there, give. There you go. Yeah, like, so, I, don't, so, again, again. I don't give a fuck. So everything is just fuck you. Yeah, I don't care about your stock. That's one thing that I don't have to a, a fuck to give about. He's become Joe Pesci. Oh, yeah. by the way, the, yeah. Oh, by the way, you hey, fuck you at the drive-through. <laughs> the, 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 if you guys are in the ch- in the chat, the versus is up. If you want to go have some fun, have some fun because Dan just said I win. He does. I actually thought about saying like, what state is Dan's favorite state to kill people in? But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> For the first All time. of them. <laughs> you know, R- Randy, Randy makes a good point, though. Randy makes a good point in the chat because I like Facebook to keep in touch with my friends who I never get to see or talk to. Um, I understand where you're coming from that, that you know, and, and I thought about that too. And I really kind of evaluated my interactions with the friends that I haven't seen in forever, like friends from home, high school, whatever. Um, and I, I, I thought about it, and it really didn't bring me any other. Um, there's there's no benefit other than seeing what their life is about, right? If in uh, in all honesty, this 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 sounds like I mean, are, so, are, somewhat in, insincere, but like if I really fucking cared, and I'm I'm being honest here, if I really fucking cared what color shoes that my friend from high school bought their kid, I would be over to their house visiting and saying hello and and actually having like a real life, not on yeah, Facebook you friendship. Don't have, you don't have to. Yeah, but you know what? I've realized I don't have to fucking know. Like, I don't need to care. I just don't fucking. It doesn't matter. Like, it, for for people who really I really need to be in touch with and 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 have that connection with, I have that in real life, right? I, and granted, you it, it gets to a point where you get so overloaded with all these people who you really, at the end of the day, couldn't fucking give a shit about their views on this stuff because they're not part of your life. They're part of a Facebook feed. And I don't care. And I know that sounds really insensitive off the top, but like I just don't fucking no. care. No, no. Yeah, but uh, it's, the whole, it's the birthday thing, Jack. It's, it all comes back to the birthday I was gonna, thing. I was going to say, my birthday is a year away. Like, I don't give a shit. If it's your birthday, I'll say happy birthday if I know about it because I care about it. I know about but it. You I, know, like, I, need on, I need to get him back on Facebook so you can wish me happy birthday next year. That, I, I can't yeah, go. Fuck it. I'll call you. I'll say happy birthday, Jack. You know, I'm not going to call you. I'll send you a text because yeah, I, yeah. I really don't like fucking calling You'll send people. me a text with a guy with a big dick saying happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, I will. I don't want any birthdays. I don't want any birthdays. That that just that just means I care. <laughs> Here's the big swinging dick in the room. Happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> like, oh my god, I'm not blowing that out. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so for for me, it, it it got to that point where like there's this this whole like for me it was like a fake facade of pretending that I give a fuck about people. It's not that I don't care about them. I just don't. I, I don't need to have all this in front of me. It's a, a complete waste of time. I know that sounds awful. I, I, I'm I not, enjoy. I'm, I'm not digging myself out of this hole. I get it. But I'll just tell you that having Facebook removed from my phone and from my daily life has been a goddamn godsend. And I'm my blood pressure is is far better off because of it. Well, if you feel better, I do. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you you feel better about that. Um, <laughs> Ethan I'm, says you wouldn't I'm, like it if it was a little dick. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will say that keeping Messenger is smart. If you, if you haven't seen yeah. it, you can still keep in touch. With Everyone, you, so. more more people have yeah. been exposed to that image than probably any other image in history. I I could I could have gone a <laughs> lifetime without seeing it because it's number one. It's just like how the fuck. But anyway, you just go because it's not real. Is it's not real? He, no. He, he actually did take the picture of him sitting on the couch like oh. that. Did, 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 did I send you the video to the, the Vi- Vice News? Did a do- like a, a short documentary on him? You did. Well, I, guess did I watched it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, it, it it's not real. That's the thing. Like oh. it, 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 it's like he did oh. take the picture, but he's he's probably well endowed, but he's not like fucking a not rhinoceros during the, <laughs> during the back of the Titanic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay. All well, right. Now I feel better. Glad we got I did, that. I, I didn't want to talk. My, my wife is into British television. Ever since she got into uh, Downton Abbey, which I recommended to her, she. Uh, <laughs> I just read my name. Uh, but she wanted to sign up. There's this new uh, streaming service called Brit TV, I think it's called. It's like British television. And who has a show, a, a Brit original on there? Our good friend Rob Lowe. He plays a. Uh, not British. He's not British. He's an American cop. They call him the Cowboy, and it's not a bad show. It, it, I it's I forget what it's called, but it might be Cowboy. I don't know what it's called, but he's it's it's a very it's a, it's on Brit TV. If you haven't have it, she's been watching it nonstop because they have all these old British shows, and she's watching it. So when I think of a cowboy, Rob Lowe is the last person I think of. You know, like, but they, so it, 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 they have no idea what a cowboy is, or Rob Lowe is one hell of an actor, and which well, we know that's really true. Wow, Brit Box says Ethan. Is that what's called Brit Box? Um, of course, Ethan would know. Uh, but it's uh, no, he's, he's not, Rob Lowe's not a bad actor. You didn't like Rob Lowe in The West Wing? Never watched The West Wing. Oh, dude, they're having a reunion. I read that Wait. today. You they know, are. yeah, you know that, Jack. You forgot that I. I did forget. Watching. So you give well, time out. You give Chris all this crap for not watching good television, good movies, and you've never seen The West Wing. That's right. I never have. Okay, there's a difference between a three-hour time commitment. No, no, and no, no, no. Freaking season time commitment. It's, that, it's a significant investment to that watch is, The West Wing. Right that is, However, it is an investment well made. It is a phenomenal television show. Yeah, and it's still whole. I mean, even though the, the, the some the, the same things they're talking about, they're talking about today because we'll always be talking about it. But it's it's that good. Yeah, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, man. I, I forgot you didn't watch The West Wing. That's My right, God, dude. because remember, because you got y'all gave me shit, and I said, well, it's because I had started college, and I didn't ever, I didn't watch it as it came on, right? And then by the time, you know, it was, you know, it's just those. It was just that weird time where. I did. I would have watched it probably. I'm, I'm right. I'm right there with you. I was too busy getting college. Yeah. Dude, so, 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 so did you? You didn't watch it either. No. I was in the same boat. I, I, I didn't watch I it until like two years ago. I'm aware of the West Wing. Oh my god! What, 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 what? Chris, you've seen it, right? Yeah, I, I saw. I saw it like two years it ago. Late. He watched it later, though, in hindsight. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. What's your guys' excuses? We just said them. I did. <laughs> Yeah, you were in college. You're not no. in college anymore. You guys are like old and decrepit. What the hell are you doing? There's no more shit going on. In the, in the mean, second golden age of television, you know how much new shit we got to watch right now? I'm, t- I'm telling you right now, West Wing is probably better than 99% of the stuff that's on today. 
hundred percent. Yeah, and ninety nine percent better than what's going on in the government today too. I don't need to like be reminded how shitty things are by watching this golden oh age of like. No, in, 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 in all honesty, in all honesty, so Jack is just gonna have, like, you know throw profanities your way and 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 talk you down like you're a bunch of assholes. Um, assholes. I. I I will I, I will say and not not that it's needed because you probably have heard this a thousand times that the West Wing yes it, it will make you feel even worse about the situation we have now. However, it is one of the most amazingly produced television shows I have ever put my eyes on. Like the direct the, the way that that show is 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 put together between the acting. Uh, the dialogue, which is Aaron Sorkin, like at his best, most Gen- coked out Gen- time, Gen- like, Genius. like, dude, he left the show because he was so coked out, and you could tell that in, in the writing, it was just so frenetically written, and it was unbelievable how well it got put together. Um, so the the, the the direction, the dialogue, the acting, the content of that show is outstanding. Like there, you know, you know, you can always say that there is like um, in, in in most shows, there's like oh, there's a really bad episode of that show. This this episode sucked. Like you think like Nikki and Paolo for Lost. You think of you know whatever. Like all of these shows, I can honestly say that I don't recall any episodes of West Wing that I watched. It was like you know what, I didn't fucking need to watch that episode. That was stupid. There is a I character. I literally that... loved every single episode. There is a character in season one that I'm glad they got rid of because that? that Mandy. Oh, um, I, I yeah, go, yeah. I, I go, they really fucked that character up. It's not the actress. It's just they they had no they. It just Moira. <laughs> um, what's her name? Yeah, it was just a terrible. She was terrible. It, I mean, but it, it was so nineties though. Like that, that. That's the thing too. I, I think it didn't. It it doesn't hold over well to like today it, it, it like with her character because it, it was a very nineties you know progressive nineties right. uh, you know character. But the but um, the, is the the things they're talking about in the show they're still talking so real. about to, so real. And you and you'll love the character. And uh, am I a Rob Lover or a Rob Lower? What, what it, was that, Matt? You changed my name too. Yeah, you're just a little bit lower than Rob Low. I can take that. Oh, hold up, you can change our names on our behalf. Yeah, you haven't even like. I discovered he, this, I think, in the last bonus episode. Oh, I don't he's, like he, this. He's I don't been like doing this. this. He's been doing this for a while. No, but I, I agree. I, I agree. I agree. One hundred percent already. <laughs> At some um, point, you were Das Boot, bitch. <laughs> I changed everybody's that had it was like bitch was our last name so yeah um, I've, I've changed it multiple times so it, you still had you still like had that. mine when I was doing a was it Big Brother last week sorry you still have my same name the, the bad JFK joke or whatever it was I was still on there I went oh wait I gotta change it I didn't notice uh, you no, had changed no, my uh, name. I think I think um Actually, Nick popped in as bad Lincoln joke because I changed. No, him. but you you had me something too soon, Kennedy joke. I, whatever oh. you changed my name to last, last week. Yeah, yeah. It was still on my thing when I went on Big Brother, and yeah. I went, yeah. oh, crap. Yeah. You were bad Lincoln joke. I was bad. No, I mean you were bad. Uh, I was bad Kennedy. Lincoln joke. You're bad Kennedy joke. Yeah, right. Either way, I thought they were both funny. But um, anyway, no. Check out the check out the West Wing. It's an amazing, an amazing show. It is. I'm sorry. <laughs> how often do Chris and I agree? Agreed. We agree a lot, but you like to disagree with the things that we agree upon just to be disagreeable. Who? Jack. Well, I'm trying oh, to yeah. keep the show. I'm trying to keep the show interesting. Like no human being on the face of the planet actually thinks that fucking like, pork chops at Ruth's Chris are a good idea, but you do. They're the best fucking thing in the world. I mean, you guys can keep arguing with me. They're they're amazing. I, if, if something's good, I'm not. I, I, one, one thing you guys have to learn here. It, it, I've been doing this for a hundred years. I don't recommend things. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but I don't. I, if you don't join, you guys have to join. If you're listening, join us in the chat just one week just to see. Yeah, it's worth around. it. We're a bunch of fucking idiots. It's fantastic. <laughs> you should just hang out in the chat because people always go. I don't. I don't like you because I don't know what you're laughing at. Well, if you. Followed us. Oh, that was great. <laughs> I'm on the show. I, know, I, know. I don't even know what the fuck you're laughing. I at. might do a West Wing rewatch. I've, I've done a few. I've done a, I've done a few. Not you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can have that much commitment. You know. I mean, 
I, I, I dude, it took me two fucking years to watch DOS boot. You think I'm going to really watch a West Wing <laughs> rewatch? Right, right no we'll, we'll, we'll start the longest West Wing rewatch. But why don't we watch an? Why don't we watch an episode a week, and we'll come back and talk about it on the Ramblecast? Yeah, because they did that. It's called West Wing Weekly. <laughs> yeah, but that, that was with Will. And I like that. I like how Nick's just like he's kind of, he's kind of a know. dick. It's kind of that's a commitment. I tweet he because he was in uh, when the Battle Network stars came back. Uh, what's the guy that played with Will? He's a very funny guy. Uh, what's it? What's his name? Britbox. Britbox might be. Well, he runs funny, and I kind of I sent him a tweet saying how he runs funny. He basically told me to fuck off. Oh, I said, okay, you want to be on the Ramble Cast? <laughs> so exactly what I said back to him, but no response back. He does run funny. I mean, what do you want? What do you want me to do? Although him and Nicholas, Nicholas Cage, yeah, and Natalie Portman. Like a lot of people don't notice about Natalie Portman. She never moves her arms when she runs. Everything Gosh, she's ever know. run it, she has her arms straight out. She just runs with her arms, never moves them. Is that where they got the Seinfeld episode with? Uh, Raquel Welch was in with a. But she didn't. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. The girl from Saturday Night Live. She doesn't move her. Uh, it's Elaine's friend. She doesn't move her arms. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's lost, and you lost Ethan too, because he is he is very. Um, in, 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 oh, okay. Well, he's on ER. ER's fifteen seasons. I, I mean, it's a great show, but I don't know if I tell people to watch because I watched all fifteen seasons. It was a struggle at the end. If I'm amazed Grey's crazy Anatomy has made it as long as it has. That yeah, show, like, don't, get, don't get me started on that piece of shit show. That's the thing. It, it peaked like in 2004, and it's still on. Yeah, it's just the same fucking thing. And I've, I say this to my wife all the time, and I go, because she'll watch. She's watching. I go, oh, that person's gonna die. She goes, why? I go, because they're in Grey's. They're in Seattle Grey's or whatever the hotel, the hot hospital is called. Because everyone, you're in the best hospital, best care in the world. I hate to inform you, uh, we did everything we could, but your fucking person died because they all die. Everyone dies in that show. Everyone. Um, yeah. I'm still, I'm still rewatching. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. That that is the crew that I've been hanging with at night. Um, so you have time for so you dis- have time to rewatch that, but you don't have time to watch. Uh... We may not all have time to rewatch these. Series, I'm not in the Jack. mood. I'm not in the mood. But, but he's, he's, watching, he's watching. He's watching that he's already seen. Yeah, hold, yeah, on, yeah. hold on. At night, I like to have a drink, and I like to like hang out with the bros at. The Philly place. We 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 may not all have enough time to sit down and watch a rewatch of West Wing or Grey's Anatomy. I, I understand. I understand that. I understand. What that. well, what I'm trying to say is, we may not have a lot of time to watch all these rewatches because I understand. Says, okay, what I'm trying to say is, we may not have a lot of time to watch all these rewatches, but we have plenty of time to listen to our sponsors once again. <laughs> nice job. Oh. Yeah, fucking thanks. I'm trying here. <laughs> We had, we had a no-hitter in baseball. <laughs> we also had no one watching it, so go figure. Fuck the MLB. Damn. Well, just because the Red Sox suck. Yeah, they're so bad. God damn, they're, <laughs> they're so piss bitter. poor. They're the worst team in history right now. I like Chris Dorn. No-hitter MLB tonight. Spoiler, it's not the Padres. Still not. Well, Padres have never had a no-hitter. The only Major League Baseball team in the history of baseball. But you have to actually. Have- oh come on, Padres have great. The Padres have great pitching. Right? They have the best player in baseball right now. Fuck Mike Trout. I'm saying it. Fernando Tatis is well, the best Tatis, player. Tatis, I thought yeah, I mean, to Fernando the- Tatis, man, that's your boy. The Bulls He's- had the greatest great. basketball player of all time, all through the '80s. They still didn't win a championship. Well, you got to add. T- it's a team. It's a team game. It's a team game. Yeah. Do you see? The- you see the catch Fernando Tatis made the other on Sunday. Did you see it? <laughs> oh, oh, really God. good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just broke the entire show by broke putting a pain in my background. Yeah, you broke a brick oh. on your table. Um, I will say that I've never touched this stuff. Never. I have never done cocaine either. Me either. So yeah. I had an opportunity on a rooftop in Brooklyn one time, and just oh, it's more than plenty of opportunities, but never. I, I think I told you I just sneezed and blew it everywhere. Bathroom stall in high school. I worked at Sony in the late '80s, a night shift. And all the, on the NSA. all the people working there would take their paycheck and buy cocaine for the weekend and have no money on Monday. All of them. Yeah. Josh Molina, that's the guy's name. Thank you. Wow. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Because he hates pork chops. He does. He fucking hates them. Um, you know what I hate? Fucking lols in this show. 
And, um, you know, I feel like we let the listeners down by choosing a Robin Williams movie. So right off the top of your head, favorite Robin Williams movie. No pressure. We don't have to do an official verse. Patch Adams. Patch Adams? I fucking loved Patch Adams. Like, yeah, Patch I, Adams. I, I remember seeing, seeing that in the theater. And, like, it's one of the movies I've seen in a theater, and I fucking bawled my eyes out. It was yeah. it was just a beautiful movie. I saw it in the theater, but didn't cry because I'm a man. But um, yeah, with no fucking soul. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Uh, yeah, that's I cried theater with uh, more. Michael Keaton. He, he the if you've never seen the movie Life, that yeah. one made me cry. I just had I just had young kids, so I was imagining those kids growing up without me. They'd probably be better off. But anyway, <laughs> I have to look it up. Um, uh, so have you ever seen it? No, I'm gonna have to look up like Robin Williams' films. I would be, hard, yeah. hard, like, I, really, I like Pat Adams, like Chris said, but it's not something I want to watch all the time. You know, that's fair. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't want to sit and watch it over, over and over again. That's for sure. Mine's Dead Poet Society or Good Morning Vietnam. See, like Dead Poet, Dead Poet Society is so good, and then it's so fucking tragic at the end that it's just like I, I get to the kid in the window, you know, and the hat, and it's just like I can't watch it. It's just like oh, this Saturday Night Live. Because you have, you have, you know, you have Red Foreman as the dad. He's always plays a dick, and it's just like, dude, it's like you killed your kid. I don't care that he did it. You killed your kid. And it's just yeah. like, it's just, I can't watch that movie. <laughs> but Good Morning Vietnam was it was it's just an amazing movie. Yeah, you know, I remember. <laughs> yeah, I remember when it came out. I saw it in the theater. I think, um, you know, it was it was one of those movies that um, my dad, I think, probably took me to to see, you know, because I think it was rated R. Um, when it came. Yeah, I believe, so. I believe it was. Yeah, mainly for the language, but uh, at that point, you know, uh, I was I was able to see those. And I, I probably Good Morning Vietnam for me, uh, mm-hmm. because that was like the first Robin Williams movie. I remember watching Mork and Mindy as a kid, but watching that movie and the emotion, the range of emotion that you go through with his character in that movie... Um, I know it's controversial with the family and, and, you know, the actual uh, person, but uh, you know, what, what is delivered on screen, like puts you there and puts you in, in that era. And uh, I don't know. I just, and, and Robin Williams can just shine in that uh, movie in in a way. So, I mean, there's a lot of good ones. I mean, I, I like some of his, the ones he did in the two thousands that were like a lot more like insomnia or one hour photo, like, uh, you know all of those, you know grittier ones that were a little bit more dramatic. I, I well, started, he did. He did a lot of range. That's the. Yeah. I started to say Awakenings because I always liked that movie. Oh, I, 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 like, I like Awakenings. Like awakenings. Yeah. Yeah. People forget about it, you know. Yes. But, um, but you know, and then I'm just looking here at, at some of his movies, and then of course the Birdcage. Even though he's not the main character in the movie, I oh, thought he yeah. did a great That's job funny. in the Birdcage. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh, we can't forget. I mean, Goodwill Hunting. Yeah. You know, not and, main and character again. Randy mentions the Fisher King. That was another movie that I remember watching. Um, I don't know if I really connected with it when I watched it. It was like, oh, Robin Williams is in this movie, but like it was a little bit too adult for me at the time. Popeye. Um, so, yeah, no one is in Popeye. Yeah, and nobody will. Again. <laughs> I've seen it. Uh, paid to see it. And you didn't walk out on that, but you walked out on Joe versus the volcano. Oh my gosh! Well, because uh, I might have had a good thing of popcorn at the time. I don't what know. was what was the one? Uh, Tim Robbins, um, the Cadillac, oh, Cadillac Man, Cadillac Men. Yeah, yeah, that, that or Cadillac Man. That was fucking hilarious. It was Top Gun with uh, Tim Robbins. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of those. I did want to mention Awakenings again because that's a movie like Patch Adams for me that. Like it hit me like a ton of bricks out of nowhere. Like I was watching it with the family, and I'm the only one crying. You know, well, it's, it's I mean, I, I liked it when I was a kid, and I don't know why. As a kid, it's kind of a, a deep, heavy movie to watch yeah. as a kid. But I always liked it. And then you know, the more as you get older and you watch it, like that's a fucking true story that people yeah. actually froze like that. And you're like, that's think, so weird. You know, I think that's what like hit it harder. Like, like in the in the end there, like it, like there's something about that. Like when you find out that it's true, it's just like, like I'm already crying, and now you're gonna just punch me. In the this gut. is like this. So is, this is interesting. I just started looking up, you know, as we do, we start googling this shit, right? Um, hook, right? 
great okay. movie. Okay, Jay. No, great movie. But dude, that that cost fucking panned. I'm looking at the Rotten Tomatoes. It's, 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 it's got 29. Because, because, because it's terrible. Yeah. It's got no. it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, ter- it's a terrible, terrible. This this movie. is one of those things where the, the I like on the top level right here. But you know, you're looking at like it's just it's the same as like like That's Chris, that. you know. All three of us, aside from Jack, grew up as kids watching Hook, you know, and so we look at it still from that perspective. But if you That's look, fair. but if you watch some movie, you know, like like I said, like I've introduced Star Wars, the original Star Wars, to people in their twenties and thirties, and they think it is complete shit because they are not looking at it as we did as kids and through that lens. And yeah. so I think that's like when you, if you no, watch, if you were a movie just, critic in nineteen ninety two or whenever Hook came out. You would probably go like, "What fucking Rufio and all this weird, goofy shit that's happening in that film?" Yeah. Like you would probably think it's, and then all the green, like food coloring fights that they have. It's kind of a weird film. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. Ethan says Hip Hook is not good. Ethan, and I agree on that. It's not a good movie. It's I fucking bad. love it. <laughs> it may, may, maybe it is a nostalgic thing, but I, I fucking love Hook. But you're you're the, the uh, Rotten Tomatoes. That's the fans' rating, right? Well, no, the critics was a tw- yeah, the two fans was seventy four. The critics were a twenty nine. Uh, fans are high. It was terrible. That's probably that probably is Spielberg's worst film. I mean, yeah, all the cocaine Ooh. that was on the set of Hook too. I mean, just imagine it. Oh, that's probably a yeah. lot. Hopefully, there wasn't. I mean, was Robin Williams was flying. I mean, Robin Williams. Who else? Uh, Bob Haskins. Dustin Hoffman. Roberts. Hoffman. Uh, yeah, I mean. I don't, that's right. Julia, Ro- Julia Roberts. You know why it didn't work? Glenn too Close. Many, too many fucking egos. Uh, That's Glenn, why Glenn, Glenn, Close, Glenn Close is one of the pirates. Dressed as a man. So is David yeah. Crosby. David Crosby. That's right. Yeah. Oh, dude. Tons of coke. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. And, uh, too, too, too many, I'm telling you right now, the reason it didn't work, too many egos. And and that Rufio haircut. I mean, yeah. I just... That guy, if you look at him still today, that kid, that, he still looks like that. Like, hasn't Does hardly he? aged a day. What's his name? Rufio actor. So he's Rob Lowe? It's Rob Lowe, yeah. Dante, oh, shit. He looks exactly like him. I told you, yeah. Dante Basco. Oh, that's, a nice, that's a cool name. I wish my name was Dante Basco. Yeah. Dante's Inferno for you. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah, so Maggie, anyway, Maggie Smith and Gwyneth, and Gwyneth Paltrow was also in that movie. And, you know, Gwyneth Paltrow, who has a bigger ego than her? Nobody. Yeah, I know we're probably She's got it. a fucking candle modeled up her vagina, for Christ's yeah. sake. Yeah, it's sold out within one hour. Go oh, in the wind. Oh, huh. Well, she's she's so making money. You warm the wax and then you use it? Like, how does that work? Uh, it, 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 it's a vagina that smells, or there's a candle that smells like her vagina. Yeah. Coldplay. Okay, well, I guess. She bathes. Uh, I guess if if they can make a candle that's scented like ET, uh, they can make a candle that's scented like a vagina. So they also they, according to Dink 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 Air Part Air Quotes, made McDonald's candles. Have you guys heard about this? No. So there was a limited a limited edition of candles that were released that smell like. Um, the various parts I want to say of a Big Mac or maybe a cheeseburger. I'm not sure what it is, but like one candle that's supposed to smell like the, the bread, one candle that smells like the meat, one smells like the lettuce and so the, tomato and pickles and mustard. And so the can- they sold them like separately. Oh. So the idea is that if you collect them all and burn them simultaneously. Your house or your your apartment will smell like you're in the McDonald's. Who would want that? I don't, I don't know, but it you literally cannot find them for less than one hundred and fifty dollars. Really? Yeah. So the candle the candle that's that insane. smells like bread smells stale. Yeah. That's because there there'll be there'll be collectors items. That's why. I would I would love it if I could just smell or like the feeling that I got when I opened a Happy Meal. Is that a thing? So. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if you were crying or laughing for a second. I was like, "Oh shit!" I hope so. I'm not sure what, what he's doing. What are you giggling about over there? He he took the chewies. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So everyone out there listening, we are looking at another exclusive candle that, does not, that smell, does not smell. Does not smell like a vagina, but it smells like. <laughs> 
<laughs> the label just plainly says, this smells like my dick. <laughs> So it smells oh, like- oh my god! <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake! Anyways, so there, there are. Um, yeah, oh my god. Uh, there you go. Share it again. These are the candles. You got sesame seed bun, ketchup, onions, fresh beef, pickles, and cheese. Um, so you, have to, and you have to put them all. You have to all at once. If you burn them all at once, apparently it smells like you're in a McDonald's and it's smelling like a quarter pounder, which is interesting. Um, but one of my coworkers was trying to collect them all, and he he paid like eighty bucks for a candle. Jeez, eighty bucks for a candle? Yeah, I, I'm just picturing like, you know, like you're, 20, you're you're 23, 24 years old, you know, and you're bringing a lady back to your house, you know, and you're trying to set the mood, and like you got the candles all like spread out across the apartment, and then she's looking at him going like, those candles have McDonald's logos like on the side. What the hell? Like you some kind of cheap weirdo? And then you start to light them, like you just wait to set the mood, and then it's like. It smells like freaking burgers in here. Like, what yeah. the hell? Like, so cheap like, eighty bucks for this fucking candle, man. Yeah, I know. I would not be lighting them unless you know you're going to yeah, commence deal. with activities, like seal the yeah. deal, like continue on to a, a romantic, intimate. I'm going to share for anyone who wants to. Who I mean, doesn't want to make love at a McDonald's? Special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickle, judge. Pickles, onions yeah. on a sesame seed bun. But, but you don't have a sesame bun, so it's just like if you're missing that candle, it's just like, oh, I got two all beef special patties. Special. And then, okay, I can't finish it. When we were a kid, we sang, uh, take me to my, take me to, take me to my favorite place. They, no, McDonald's was my favorite place. They served me rattlesnakes, hot dogs up my nose, french fries between my toes. Last time I went there, they stole my underwear. McDonald's is my kind of place. I used to be there. Wow. I'm back in the stuff, dude. It's kind huh? of weird. That's kind of weird. Like, so you're saying Ronald McDonald stole your underwear? I mean, well, that's that's it, kind it, of a crime. Why, why do you think he's always smiling? This is this is like a limerick from another time. I mean, I've never heard that. You never, I, I, well, because that's when I was a kid. We used to sing it all the time. But I never got the hot dog part because I don't think they've ever had hot dogs at McDonald's. I think I brought this up too. Like in my little town, if you, you know, like I like John like, Cougar Mellencamp. Yeah. Uh, so if you get a Happy Meal, but not the, the box and the toy, you just want the small cheeseburger, the small fry, and the small Coke. Because, uh, like, my grandfather would get it, and other people, they always called it the All-American Meal because it's just one cheeseburger, one fry, and one small. It's all just small things. And then, like, as I've gotten older, I, not that I really ever ordered that, but, like, that's not even on the menu anymore. Like, you don't, you don't say that. No one knows what you're talking about anymore. I guess none of y'all probably never knew what I was talking about either, but. Because in America, the America I lived in, we didn't get small cheeseburgers, small fry. But a- that was a regular cheeseburger, though. Back, you know, then was just the regular cheeseburger. They didn't have the Big Mac and, and a quarter pounder and all that stuff back. You know, I long. told this before. We used to skateboard like five miles to the nearest McDonald's, and for a buck, we could get cheeseburger, fry, and a Coke. Did you skateboard like Rufio? No, Rufio. Rufio. I was from California. We were a lot better. Nice. But he also hates in and out, so uh, he's not really. I, w- I, I wouldn't skateboard in and out, but uh, probably. Would... Uh... Now we skateboard, literally would skate. We're not those. You see those kids today? They I don't. Why, why do kids walk with their skateboard? What's the point? Why do you have the skateboard? Just to look cool. I see him, when I'm driving all the time. I want. I want to stop and just go. You're an idiot. But I, I don't do it because I don't. I don't want to be the old guy who gets filmed and, and looks like Karen. So I, I just keep driving. <laughs> I think we all live in that fear. So I told you a few weeks ago. I told my wife. I said, "Hey, you want to be Karen? Don't go out there and kill them. <laughs> They'll have a cell phone, and they, you only get a part of it. And you'll be like." Look at this Karen. They won't. They don't show the whole video, but then you're labeled for life as Karen. True. Tensions are high. I mean, you know, it's a pandemic. It doesn't matter like who you are, like at what place you are, what political spectrum, or whatever you got going on. Like, just I think. I mean, my kids have been really stressed with going back to school. You know, like my son is just his his tension level is just a little turned up. You know, so. Um, It want to wish people happy birthday. I know. Yeah. Fuck you and your birthday. That's a 2020 thing. But I, are, are we shocked? That, I think we talked about last week. Are we shocked that the colleges start opening up? And suddenly, like Alabama, 500 kids tested positive for uh, the COVID. I'm not. This is America. I'm not shocked with anything ever. Yeah. I mean, it's just 
it, it, so you know. desensitized to all this shit. Like people are even saying, like, well, if if these piss tapes come out of the, of of Howard uh, Howard of Donald Trump pissing on Howard Hitler, Hitler, Russia, like even if even if these videos do get released, no one's gonna <laughs> fucking care. I'm not laughing at that. <laughs> you you laughing at my candle? Yeah, your candle's pretty yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I mean, there's, a, there's a candle. Uh, just you know what? We should, we should have ramble. We should have ramble cast candles because we could come up with better shit than this, and that's I, funny. I guess because Chris, it's, it's kind of like you know, like you know, like I I don't give a shit what you do with your own personal life. If you like pissing on people like R. Kelly, then go for it. You know, like uh, it's like R. Kelly's a, like, a child molester, though. Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. a bad example, yeah, Nick. But, example. but yeah, but like, you know, like Rose, you know, Nick was not referencing the fact that R. Kelly is a good person. He is no. a molester, and right. because the only reason I know R. Kelly is because of that, because I, I don't listen to his music. I don't know anything about him. Nor do I. But like, you know, I mean, everyone knew John F. Kennedy was having affairs. No one cared. You know, this is like, I, you know, it's like you know when people ask in our politics, like, what religion are you? I'd be like, it's not your fucking business. Like, it's not your business what my personal beliefs are. Like, they don't ask that shit in England and France and everywhere else. It's like, you know, can you or can you not do the job of the president? So that's just, that's how I look at it. <laughs> no, he can't. <laughs> but, um, but it was, a, I saw a funny tweet, uh, today. It was, uh, Trump's son. What, what the fuck's the dipshit's name? Uh, you know, the, the better looking one. Junior? No. Was it Junior? Oh, Don, Donald Junior. Yeah, Donald Jr. tweeted out uh, something, something about, I, I can't stand people who aren't loyal or whatever. And somebody responded to him. He's like, dude, your father literally cheated on every one of his wives, including your mother. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Like, oh, God. Well, if these, these people, especially nowadays, you have to think before you strike. I mean, but they don't. Yeah. But. yeah. Well, it's, it's funny because uh, Sherry says Notre Dame had 327 students that got COVID in the first eight days, 100% of them. So they were out partying because I listened to Mad Dog Sports Radio on Sirius Radio, and he was ta- his daughter goes to Notre Dame, and I guess she's locked up. Uh, they have him locked up in a some kind of hotel, Best Western. He goes, "I'm paying seventy two thousand dollars a year for tuition, and these colleges are just raking in the money." Oh yeah, these kids are not getting. They knew it was going to be an issue, but they took the money anyway. You like of course. UNC, uh, NC. I, I give credit to NC State because I know they tried to make it as safe as possible, but you can't keep the, he goes, and, and some caller called up and he just went off on this caller. He goes, what the fuck? You, you, he, the caller is blaming the kids for not being responsible for going out. But he goes, what do you think was going to happen? They're, they're kids. They're, they're going to yeah. go out and party. He goes, I, I saw it true. Of, of America, all of America, there's billions of people going to beaches, this, that, that they're all adults because nobody cares. Yeah, I was out. I was. I saw someone posted on Reddit. It was a picture of uh, I don't know what where, where this college was, but it was it was clearly a college house party. And there was like a picture from the street looking at the house, beer pong in the front yard, like people having a blast, keg stands, the whole nine. And there's a big sign hanging from the window that says, "You can't eat ass when you're wearing a mask." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like these fucking idiots. Like, first of all, don't be eating ass. It's fucking nasty. But like. Which is, by the way, like a weird fucking trend right now. Like the younger generation have an obsession of eating butts. Like I don't, I don't, I just don't get it. But uh, this, this is this is this is like centipede. The the movie centipede. Case case of pink eyes. All that. Yeah, but that oh, (laughs) that was terrible timing. That is terrible timing. (laughs) Uh, You're an asshole for doing that to Sherry. <laughs> that was Matt. That was Matt. <laughs> oh my god! I've been waiting for something like that. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Sherry. Again, if you haven't joined us in the chat, yeah, you should. Why, you We're have to jerks because... over here. It's a blast. Yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Does it sound like Chris is all over Twitter? Yeah, not so much Twitter. Twitter is I, I, I'm lost to Twitter. I, I'm I've I've kind of fallen off the rails with Twitter. I don't I don't know the ins and outs. Of that. Have to in Twitter, Chris. But I'm on Reddit. Reddit's great because you can follow a bunch of fun stuff that you can look at and watch. And um, I enjoy Reddit because it actually is a nice place for me to kind of consume fun, stupid shit without having all the terrible stuff. Granted, yes, I know there's a whole fucking wasteland of people on Reddit too, but I don't get into that part of it. I just check all the fun stuff. Just kind of- but you're you're they're here. You and they, they're trying to warn the kids that were uh, all the kids that got sick at, at UNC 
and the people that have not been tested yet, you could be infecting your parents, your grandparents, and everybody yeah. else. And they're trying yeah. to catch. They're trying to. Get, but the problem is, these colleges knew going in it was a mistake. Even up here in the they north, they, the where, where, they, where they've canceled or gone to virtual mm-hmm. classes, they waited to make the decision until all the tuition checks cleared. Right, and then they made the decision to go whichever and direction they wanted. To go. Again, the guy, on, the, the guy's uh, Mad Dog Radio, he was saying, and the worst part is, he goes, "It's not like you can say, okay, I'm not going to go to school that year, because then you have to reapply, mm-hmm. and you probably won't get back in." He goes, "So you have to. It's it's, yeah. it's like blackmail. You have Correct. to pay the tuition. You ha- it's it's such a scam." And and these these and the, again, you're not going to get college kids who think, "Okay, I'm invincible," and and they're and they're probably not going to die. But they're going to get sick. They are going to pass it on to someone older like Matt, who could be, you know. Right, Matt? Oh, yeah, sure. I could totally get it. Um, yeah. So my experience of teaching this week, this was my first. Uh, <laughs> uh, yesterday was my first day back teaching. I have a split class. Everybody wears a mask. Um, and uh, you know, what's up? Even the models. Do they wear masks everywhere? Look. The time in which we have models is so small. It's like the time in which, like, I had sheep as a child. Like, you know. But, the, but, the, but that's the only thing interesting about your class. But you still remember it, though, all the time. Don't you? <laughs> dreaming about all right, it. well, as far as the boring shit that happens in my class. Um, just, just give me a hard time. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm hopeful. You know, I mean, there, there was the announcement um, that there's the first official, like, recorded case of somebody who had COVID recovered and then was reinfected. Um, you know, so that's that freaky. Thing? What's that? Why is that a good thing? No, I was just saying that that was good. Oh, okay. Oh, like, I thought, I thought I made that out, so. the, I good thing is, is the, the good thing is, is that the college that I, that I've been going to, like, I feel it is very limited. The number of students, there's a lot of classes that have just like started out online. Um, and, and mine's a partial class. And, you know, if we have to go completely online, we do. So I'm hoping I don't. Here's a question I have, because you have a lot of people, you know, the NFL is coming up here and you have a lot of teams like Jerry Jones said, fuck it. Anybody wants to come can come. I mean, it's an airborne virus. Right. So is and I'm just asking because I don't know. Is it safe for the players to have people coming into the stadium who could possibly have the virus? If it's airborne, aren't we trying to keep these players as safe as possible? Because you want the NFL season to continue. Now, the Chargers and Rams announced that today they're not going to have any fans at the thing, which is a big blow for the Rams because they're going to lose a lot of money. The Chargers, it didn't really affect them. <laughs> um, uh, but, again, I'm, I'm asking seriously. I'm asking people to know because I, I don't know. Is it safe for to have? Because some te- some teams are going to have thirteen. Th- I think Miami Dolphins are going to have thirteen allow thirteen thousand per game. Uh, it's it's all different. It shouldn't. It, it should be the same in every. St- it's the NFL. Like baseball said, no, no fans. Why can't football be the same thing? Where it's like, so I, I think it's 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 more of a protection for the fans. It's they're they're trying to do their bit to like protect their their fans from fucking dying. I mean, I get that, but it, but, it, but it's it's a it's a it's an airborne virus, right? So, yeah. yes. couldn't that affect the players on the field? If, it- if, if your question, your question, your question is, do you think there's a danger for the players if the fa- people in the stands? I don't think so. I, again, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a, a a doctor or a scientist in any stretch, with any stretch of the imagination. But like, all, of all the indications that we've kind of heard, in like, it's it's definitely you're looking at like a you know like a like a six to ten foot radius around you. I don't but know, Randy, also, Randy also. Saying- also, at the same time, um, sunlight is its worst enemy, right? So th- that's another thing, too. Like UV rays exposure for a short period of time um, is supposedly known to, to, to kill or reduce the virus uh, itself. So it's a closed quartered inside, you know, face to face is what is what's uh, potentially dangerous. Well, Randy said there's an Oxford studies that suggests that you should be 26 feet away not six feet away. Well, is that with or without masks? I'm guessing yeah, that's, and I, I don't know if this is the same study that, that Randy's referring to, but I know that there was the study that they, they discovered 
that it was traveling by the air. It was a kind of a big deal, but it also like fell under certain scrutiny by other scientists that are like, well, we need more data, you know, on how they collected it. So I don't know if that's the same one because, you know, there's a lot of. I'm, I'm just because, the like you said, Major League Baseball is uh, most of the teams have been pretty COVID free, except the teams that where the people went to strip clubs or had parties and, and right. did, did something stupid. I mean, it, because there's no fans at the game, it's there's no. They're they're going they're actually just going home going to the game. I mean, you have to. I mean, the players are also. Was it Cleveland had two players go to a go to something and 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 the rest of the players got pissed at him. I mean, literally pissed at him and they. So they're policing their own uh, their own team. It's like being at work with someone that does something stupid. You take care of it, you know, the old fashioned way. So I don't know. I'm just asking because I don't know. I'm just saying. You know, like Jerry Jones, if you have seventy thousand people in there, that can't be good for the players, right? And and again, I, I don't. I, I'm assuming the fans will be back far enough that won't affect the players. But you know, what if it, a grounds coup? I, I I just don't know. I just I don't think it's a good idea to have fans in the stands if there's a chance that the players can get sick because you can infect your whole. It can affect the whole team and the team they're playing. But anyway, speaking of uh, George Zip. <laughs> I got it. Uh, did you guys uh, read what uh, Joe Montana said about uh, uh, Rudy? Joe Montana. Joe Montana. Yeah, because he was th- he was there when uh, Rudy was there, right? Yeah, like you know, it was like the probably the one of the you know you probably I don't he didn't hear the audio. I have no idea how the question and how his response was formed. You know, but it's one of those things that that. Uh, you kind of hate that he said it because it, basically they were asking him about Rudy, Rudy, Rudy Rudiger from the movie, from the, the from the great movie, yeah, from mm-hmm. the movie Rudy, and but you know mostly from Notre Dame, and he said that it all was a joke, like you know he, uh, yeah, he did get in the game, yeah, he did get a sack, he goes, but the fans at no point really ever chanted Rudy, he goes, and the three people that carried him off the field were the three of the biggest pranksters, in, you know, I've ever known, he goes, so like they kind of, you know, made it bigger than what it really was uh, in the movie. But it's like one of those things It's like, don't shatter, don't shatter the... No, you know, yeah, like, Joe, just keep your mouth shut, Joe. Joe, yeah. Joe. You know. They actually took me into the toilet and gave me a couple swirlies. Yeah. So. We love Vince Vaughn in the movie. Yeah. Rudy! Anyway. That, that scene always cracks me up because I go, really, Vince? I was like, Rudy was so off sides. <laughs> <laughs> It's interesting. My, my favorite part of the movie is when the dad, when, uh, Ned Beatty goes, these eyes have never seen anything more beautiful. And he's, he's standing next to his wife and his son. And I'm like, dude, I mean, I would, I would, I'd be sleeping on the couch for a month. I said, because he, he's talking about the field at Notre Dame. Right. You've had kids. No, it's a stupid thing to say. There's no way you get away saying that right now. Weren't they from? Well, I think that's the comical part of it. I mean, I think that's, it's, it's, you know. But they, he, wasn't, he was serious. And his, son, his, his dickhead son, who's the dickhead of the movie, is sitting behind going, all right, let's go find our seats, Dad. Let's go, Dad. Yeah. Anyway. I love yeah. the movie, though, I, and I won't ruin it. It won't ruin it for me because, you know. But you, but the reason the fans didn't cheer because that one guy didn't go, Rudy, 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 and 100,000 people heard him say that. And so suddenly they go, oh, Rudy. And then you had the announcer. I'm finally figuring out what the student section saying. <laughs> He's so little. Who says that? Jack, uh, before we end this show, I, I need to say something. <laughs> fans in the stands, man. <laughs> I, you change these names so goddamn fast, I can't keep up. <laughs> it's there for the people that watch, you know? I, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not complaining. I like the names. I just got to remember to change whatever name you put on there. <laughs> Novid nineteen, I like that. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so uh, I just have to mention Jack's background for this show. He has put together this graphic. If I didn't mention it, I mean, it looks like you spent some time on this. It's it's got. It took me, it took me, about, it took me about three minutes. It looks like they're either sweating because the water. No, they're, 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 they're crying. They're crying because they're about to be yeah. slaughtered. They're like little, these little. Did, did you read the Did you read the tweet I put out? And it today? says. Save us from the evil paper company, and then there's all of these trees that say "suck it, bitches." So, because did you read the tweet I put out for our Ramblecast? Yeah, I did. 
I said, I said, find out how paper companies are saving the environment by no longer using trees, but by using dolphins. <laughs> so, I said, so I said, oh, I'll put this in there. That, that's it. Now it took me about three or four minutes. I just had to, it, it's, it's not I, I appreciate the, the extra, you know, just little ad campaign here for dolphin papers. I appreciate yeah. that. So. I think that if you want, I, I don't have any claim to it, so you can take it and use it, you know, as a you want trademark or slogan. Like, yeah. You, slogan. Like you want to use that for, you know, like every time you ship out an order, put that sticker on there. I think it would be a. I was wondering if anybody was going to get mad. I was a little worried. I go, you know, someone's going to take this serious. So. <laughs> uh, we do not hurt pa- dolphins. Though. No, none of the papers made from dolphins. It's, I don't. I don't know where you get this. Is that where you heard that, Nick? I, how I, would that even work? I don't know. I'm not in the paper business. You are. I don't know. How. Okay. But I think Nick and I clearly heard <laughs> heard you say something about paper and dolphins. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's, it's, if it's saving trees, aren't there enough dolphins in the sea? I mean. Um. So we, need, of, we, we, need, we don't need. I'm gonna be. I'm yeah. probably in trouble here. We don't need the dolphins to live. For us to live, but we need the trees, right? True. You don't know that. You don't know if like some Star Trek four kind of situation is going to come along. Where oh, I, I don't get me wrong, I like dolphins. I like I like birds. Star Trek four, which doesn't have to do with dolphins, but it has to do with whales. That's with the whale one, right? Yeah. Sure, yeah. Pitch I with that one. Yeah. You know the orca, which the orca, which a lot of people think as a whale, is actually yeah. in the dolphin family. So, have you guys ever seen the movie Orca? With Richard Harris, it's I a rip off. Is it a rip off of Jaws? You're not missing anything. Oh, well, okay. it's funny because what's Thanks. the what's what's uh what's what's his name's vote? Um, Robert Shaw's vote on yeah, Jaws. All things called the Orca. Well, in Orca, I forget the the the, the actress, but Bo Derek's in it, uh, and that's how they build it. Bo Derek, and she's in there for like three minutes. Oh, bo, 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 bo. Uh, but Richard Harris, he's he's killed. What he the what he did is he killed a female dolphin. He f- killed a female whale. Orca. So the male whale, because they only have one partner for life, right? That's that's what they say. So he, he, this whale goes after Richard Harris's character to get revenge. And one line in the movie is this most ridiculous movie. She goes, you're not mad enough to accept his challenge, telling Richard Harris. I'm like, it's a fucking whale that's trying to kill me. Why, why would... And so in the end, he dies. But uh, spoiler oh. alert. Oh it's yeah, I was never gonna watch it. I saw I saw it in the theater, but it's like that, that line always went toxic masculinity. Someone wrote uh, this. It was stupid, but anyway, Orca. If you haven't seen it, it's up there with Dos Boots. <laughs> <laughs> and Richard Harris uh, be drunk through the whole movie anyway. So I wanted to to, to check in on our poll and, and see how how the poll is is going here. <laughs> so. Is it? Did you just put it on the patrons group? Is that is that what it was? No, uh, the poll I put. No, I put it on the regular. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Facebook thing. Uh, okay. So, yeah, we got we got some. Yeah. Well, okay. So currently, right now, for this week's verses, and we'll check back in on this and see how many uh, options there are. But Waffles is leading it uh, with fifteen votes, and then. Awesome. But waffles with chocolate chips is behind with seven exactly. votes, and then you have FUD Spanos with two votes, <laughs> waffles smothered, covered, and sometime country, uh, one vote, waffles and hot chicken. Thank you, Sherry, for that. Waffle. Well, you, well Sherry should wait. Country. Sherry should have put what you put. And thank you, Kim. You, you guys are making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> waffles with anyway. Oh, yes, you're right, Miami Mike. Jack killed this podcast, and on that note, we should kill this show. So we'll be back next week. Let's take probably. a commercial break. No, no, we, we we we're done with commercial breaks. This we're at the end. This is. Oh, I thought we had another commercial break. I, I apologize. I, I think we should we should close it out. I know Chris, or Nick has a has an early morning tomorrow, uh, or something going on. Um, what Nick just dropped out. Nick just said, fuck you. I'm out of here. Maybe he was like, oh, they're closing out the show. I don't need to be here for this. Jack will just interrupt. 
Oh, nope, he's back. Okay, thank I, you. My mic cut out again. So. Oh, okay. You didn't. You didn't. Thought you thought I was going to interrupt? Did you? What now? You, I, I, you interrupting is just a given. I don't even have to think about that. It's like me and Orca. Yeah. It's official. I've got the the list here tonight. So like me and the uh, dick candle. If you enjoy this show, and and apparently some of you do because you join us live, and we appreciate that every week. We should be back next week. I don't know if it's going to be a Tuesday. Nick, are you off next week? Is that what I, it is? I am. I'll be in Wyoming again. So okay, all right, and so, maybe even off the next week, but we'll see. Whoa, okay. whoa, yeah. Let's get. Let's get all right, we got to get a replacement. Yeah, wild card for for Nick. Wally Pitt. Sure. Contract so. contract renegotiation. We will be in contact. What happened when Wally Pitt sat out and Lou Gehrig took his spot? We might have somebody have to come in for Nick. And what happened to Lou Gehrig? Which podcaster? So, karma. Uh, <laughs> if, if you want to help out the show, and why wouldn't you? Go on to iTunes, rate and review us there. Give us five stars. Tell us what you think. That uh, gets us uh, a little bit of notoriety. We would appreciate that. Uh, you can send us an email at rcadcast at gmail. At gmail.com. Oh, I'm thank sorry. you. Yeah, sorry. you're right on it. I know. So, well, I mean, if you would like to take over the, the no, I, it's 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 force of habit because I used to say that every time when Jay would say, "Oh, sure," it's like you're like a Pavlov dog. It's just, it's like, oh my god, it's, 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 oh yeah. Go ahead. Okay, Sorry. here we'll do it again. We'll do it again. RCAD cast at Gmail. What the, you really? You really? Okay. okay. You gave me crap for it. I'm, I, you don't you don't right. hit me, you don't hit me with a newspaper on the nose and expect me to go. Okay, I'll go. I'll do it. I'll do it. Save us from the evil paper company. Okay, gotcha, Jack. Um, so you can also uh, go onto Amazon. Uh, I think it's the actually Janjack dot com slash Amazon. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember this. <laughs> I, I know. Either way, just go to Janjack dot com. There's the Amazon link, and there's a patron link. You can donate uh, from little to a lot. We appreciate all the patrons, especially those that join us in the ch- chat. Whether they're they're free freebies or you pay for it, I don't care. It's so much fun having people live with us. Uh, we do have a good time. Um, I won't, Ethan. Um, I won't. So, um, but at this point, I need to mention some of the people that uh, <laughs> some of the people that that make this show possible, uh, and uh, we really appreciate them. I, I did plan ahead and I tried to come up with some Robin Williams themed movies. Can I, can I stop for one second? I hate to interrupt. Okay, no, 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 no. Ethan, he has confirmed. All right, go ahead. Okay, there you go. That was a private conversation. We have no idea what's going on. That's kind of like a little Lostian, you know, thing within the own podcast. But uh, at this point, I would like to thank Patch Tack Adams. <laughs> The Richter King, Ed Poet Society, Good Maggie Vietnam, and Joe La- Joe Aladdin. I, I can't. I can never. I'm sorry, Joe Joe Aladdin. You, you had it go. You had it going good. There. I did. I did. I'm so sorry, Joe. I'm, I'm gonna say right now that this was probably one of your best. He blew it in the night, so yeah. I did. I did. Well, let's finish. Go, couldn't go the distance. We'll finish it off with a little bit of Greg Will hunting. Uh, oh, nice! Uh, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Joe. I I really I really like was racking my brain, you know, for for a yeah, joint. You, you saved you saved it on that one. Uh, maybe, maybe. I think it's still. Oh, I, I like. I like. It's not I a like. no hitter. It's not. It's an. Uh, not a no. Not a no hitter. No, but you don't have to have a no hitter every game to be successful. Okay. Um, um, <laughs> caught. <laughs> Great show, kids. It was. Like Miami Mike says, one in a million. We appreciate everyone for making this live. So yeah, this was this was fun, guys. Because of COVID, shouldn't we be more social distancing? Shouldn't it be like one in two hundred fifty thousand instead of a million? <laughs> yeah, that's tr- that's true. Why don't you care about us, man? Yeah. I'm putting on my mask right now here, so so you can kind of see. Have it. you guys? I I, I, I listen serious, but I've heard so many commercials for masks. Oh, yeah. I should, I should have. I, who would have known that that masks were going to be such a major part of our economy in 2020? Oh, Darth Vader. Also, uh, <laughs> for, for the nose, for the nose wearers, the the ones that like to write it underneath the nose. I saw an article that said that you could be more likely to get it if you actually just pull it below the nose. Yeah, so, I heard that too. Because if you think about it, if you think about it, if you've been breathing. 
and mm-hmm. pull the air in and there's virus particles on that, now that thing is right below your nose where you're going to suck them up into your yeah. nose. And so boy, and a, yeah. collector with, with basically a suction area right there. So think about that, nose, nose people. I, I'm not nosing it <laughs> at you, but... Uh, you know, come on, just just wear the mask. Let's get all. Oh, let's just get through this fucking. I, I, it's not. It's. I'm sorry, Matt. I hate to be negative, Nancy, but yeah, it's just, it, it, it's nothing's going to stop until they find a vaccine for it. Uh, just, it it's right, just, I know it's we're, it's here. It's here for a good solid uh, year to, uh, 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 you know, I don't know, two years, whatever. <laughs> but it's going to take some while. A while. Um, I'm I'm trying to close out this show. Thanks again. This was one in 25. See you next week. Never tell me the odds. Bye. I guess. Whatever. See you. <laughs>